Hello and welcome to the channel and my name is Tim McCracken and I'm here to save your footage. Save your footage from UFOs, lens glares, objects, unidentified flying objects in your cell phone, mobile phone footage that just happens to appear when you're shooting in low light or against ambient light. So I'm here to help you and hopefully this tutorial will will basically save your shot and you'll be able to uh, continue editing and uh, moving forward with what you've got to do. So let's go ahead and uh, let's talk about what the problem is and how it starts. So what's happening here? Well, I'm not actually entirely sure. I didn't make the phone, I'm not Samsung, I'm not Apple, but it's pretty obvious it's not a software problem, it's a hardware problem, which is not good news, right? They've sold a phone where, which has these artifacts and, and lens glares which really do ruin your shot. I mean, it might be cool and neat in, in certain instances of your shot, but not with these floating um, visible light spots that are going across your footage. So the problem is we can't fix it on the camera, but we can fix it in post. So how do we fix this? Okay, now I'm in Adobe After Effects. This is where I'm gonna repair this clip. So let's look at this clip that I shot on the Galaxy S9. Um, great camera, but lens flare basically ruined the shot. Obviously, I want to keep all these lights. This is natural. So let's go over and click on, click on the clone stamp tool and go over to your brushes if it's not open. And I'm going to choose uh, 30, 36. Okay. Make sure you've clicked on the layer. Uh, make sure at frame zero. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on Alt or Option, hold it down until you until that circle becomes like this target. And that's basically what you're doing. You're targeting a certain area here to clone over this side here, over this this annoying flashing UFO that I don't want in our footage. So hold that down, click your mouse, and then boom. Looks like I might have to do it a couple of times. That's done. That's gone. Boom, gone, and just repeat where the problem is. Um, I don't think you have to be completely perfect. Looks like there's something over here. And so what we're going to do next is we're gonna go down to the timeline and we're just going to scrub it until we start seeing, start seeing uh, some more of those. Oh, look, do you see how they're coming in now? So I see one here and one here. So I'm gonna back it up a bit and I'm going to just take out that one. And I see that one coming in. And remember click Alt or Option and then stamp it out. Let's see where else they are. Actually, I see something over here. I think it's like an aircraft light, but we'll get rid of it because we don't need it. Um, as I'm going through this, again, I see one there. Don't want that. Right, I see them starting to come through here. So they don't come through on every frame. So. It's not like you're gonna be here forever and ever and ever, guys. Obviously, how long your clip does matter. Um, but this is not gonna take that long, and I might fast forward the, the video here. Okay, so let's scrub our timeline now, and let's take a look. That's pretty good. Oh, have you noticed there's something going on here, which I didn't see before. Let's take a look. There's one thing dancing around over here. Now, it may not be a big deal to some people, but like if you want to use this for professional footage and you're working with a creative director or a director, they're going to see this. Uh, there's no getting around it. So we want to eliminate as much as we, we want. We want to be able to shoot on these mobile devices and not have to worry about the final quality in post. I mean, this a little tricky in that area, 
I'm doing this fast because I don't really think I'm, I'm not doing this for anything but to show you guys you might want to zoom in and use a different you know smaller brush just to just to get get that get rid of that flash uh, I can see there it's starting to move around see this one's moving around which does make it a little trickier um, Looks like I've eliminated that problem now. Um, okay, let's take one last scrub at this. And I do not see any problems whatsoever. So we fixed the clip. So the idea is if you're shooting on these mobile devices and you're getting that flare, keep that flare in, its, in one place um, and don't pan your camera. Not until they fix this problem. So that's that. So catch me on the next one. And don't forget to subscribe and like. And thank you so much for watching.